Crypto Slow, Cryptocurrency News and Investing. Crypto Slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the video tutorial of TronLink. TronLink is a new Google Chrome browser cryptocurrency wallet. Let's get into it. In this part of the video, I'm going to talk about what is TronLink. TronLink is a browser extension which in essence installs a crypto wallet into your browser that allows it to interact with websites, specifically dApps. Now, these are decentralized applications which are built on blockchains. Most apps right now are gambling sites. Um, specifically, Tron um, has that new hit dApps um, website and basically there's a bunch of games that you can play where you can bet and gamble your Tron and in order to take part in these you have to have the Tron link wallet because like as an example let's go into the coin flip and let's say I wanted to get some coins into my wallet I'm gonna to have to have the Tron link extension to get those coins to talk to the website but that's all there is to it TronLink is the new Google Chrome web extension that allows your browser to interact with dApps in this part of the video I'm going to talk about how to install the TronLink crypto wallet into your Google Chrome browser it's actually pretty simple now as always as what happened with MetaMask, be careful of rogue um, releases on some of these extensions um, that may be a hack or a go to hack your crypto funds. But it's pretty simple. Right now I'm on the Chrome Web Store, but if you're starting from scratch, you can go to Google and you're going to type, type in um, Google Chrome Store, right? Enter, and then we're going to go to the Chrome Store. Okay, and this obviously you have to have the Google Chrome browser installed to start with. I'm going to type in Tron Link, Tron Link by Tron Watch Market. And I actually poked around, there is a GitHub project for this where they're openly developing it. So basically, you go, you find the Tron Link extension, and then you click Add to Chrome. Add extension. Okay, let that grind around a little bit. Tron link has been added to Chrome. Use extension by clicking the icon. So now that we have Tron link installed into our Chrome browser, to use it, you have to set up a wallet initially. So what I do, you click on the little arrow up here in the corner. And the first thing it's going to do is ask you for a password. Now, this is assuming that I have never created a Tron link account before. I'm on a new computer and I need to do it. So to basically to get started, it's not as intuitive as a normal like link would be. It's a little confusing. So basically what you do is come up with a password. Um, I like to use my strong password security site, um, but use whatever you will. It's a site that allows you to generate super strong passwords. So I'll grab that password. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go back to my Tron link icon. I click on it. I'm going to enter that password twice. Now, this is very important. Make sure you write down your password. So what I'm going to do is type in notepad. I'm going to put my Tron link password and that way I know I don't lose it. Hit continue. Success. Go to the wallet and you click on this. Now you're into the main Tron link page and the application is installed. At this point you want to do a couple important things. You want to write down your backup monomic phrase which allows you to recover the wallet and you want to get your receiving address so that you can receive tokens. So you're going to click on accounts and you're going to have a menu create, import, export, and delete. If you have more than one TronLink account, um, you can delete 
the extra accounts. So um, the very first thing obviously is what is my CryptoTron wallet address? And that's right here under the default account. So I'm going to copy that as well and put that into my thing so I don't lose it. And this is the, actually the address you would send your Tron coins to. Now, the second step is you want to click Export. At this point, the extension is going to give you your monomic secret phrase. Okay, that's super important. And let's see, I'm going to do that. That's my recovery phrase. Okay, and my private key. So I got my private key. Okay. All right, now I'm going to save this. And at this point, you could do whatever you like. You could run this through your encryption software, um, move it to a USB drive that's encrypted um, or other safe or print it and put it in your safe. And this is all your pertinent information for your TronLink wallet. Now, that's it. Um, basically, you send yourself some coins from either your ledger or um, get on one of the exchanges that sells Tron like um, Binance and then you would send it to that address and then your tokens will appear there and then you can start interacting with the dApps. In this part of the video I'm going to talk about how to log into an existing TronLink wallet on a new computer that you haven't accessed your wallet or your funds. So the situation that this, how this would be created would be you, let's say you create on your laptop, you create a TronLink wallet and you write down your passphrase and your, your password and you've got all the information and then let's say you have coins in there, right? Let's say you have a thousand Tron in that wallet. The question is, how do you access that same wallet on a different computer? And I think a lot of new users are going to run into this problem. So I'm assuming I just got on this computer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Google Chrome store and I'm going to install the TronLink app. Okay, TronLink. Add to Chrome. Excellent. TronLink has been added to Chrome. Okay, now you're like, okay, so do I just log into it? No, that's not how it works. So I click on TronLink and it says enter password to encrypt wallet. Wait a minute. This is how I created my original TronLink wallet. How am I going to get to my other TronLink wallet? The trick here is, and it's a little counterintuitive, is just enter some bogus information in here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Continue. Okay, go to wallet. Now, basically, it doesn't give you if you it doesn't give you the option to import or export on the first screen, and that's what's confusing. So what you have to do is you have to import your old account. Okay, and that's pretty easy to do, assuming you follow the instructions in the install video of writing all your important TronLink information down. So click on Accounts, click on Import, Tron Watch, Tron Scan, Monomic Phrase, so or the private key, um, and that's a, on encrypted private key. So if you watched video um, number two, I think it was how to install and I'm assuming I had all my juicy information on my encrypted thumb drive or whatever so you have two options here you can either use the private key you wrote down or the monomic phrase both of them will work so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my private key and I'm gonna click private key I'm gonna paste that in there and hit import and then this account name on this computer, even though it's pointed to your original TronLink wallet, you can name it whatever, and you'll say Master Wallet or whatever you want to call it. Okay, hit OK. Success. 
go to wallet now you see the default account and then you see the master wallet which is the imported account which had my coins in it so that's all there is to it that's how you log into an existing wallet on a new computer in this video I'm going to talk about resetting your Tron link password if you get locked out of your Tron link wallet so let me stress to you that as of now one of the most important things to your Tron link is making sure you do not lose that password now let's say that you've basically you've created a wallet on a computer and you go to log in and you click on your Tron link this is an existing wallet and it's going to ask you for the password I'm going to type in some password incorrect there is no link there is no reset there's nothing you can do from this screen so you're like oh I lost all my coins well what I can tell you is you can still get back into your wallet by doing a wallet restore assuming you have the private key or the monomic um, import the 24 word phrase so to do this what you're gonna do is you're going to uninstall the extension from your Chrome so remove that's step one okay and then I'm gonna go to the Chrome store and I'm going to basically reinstall the application I know this seems weird Tron link okay okay now basically by reinstalling the application what that does is that gives us the ability to import um, and it gets us into the interface I'm hoping in the future future versions of this will have some kind of password reset because um, this could be a disaster for them but anyways, let's keep moving forward so go ahead and activate Tron link basically it's gonna prompt you like you're creating a new wallet we're just gonna put something bogus in there we'll say hello hello enter okay I'm gonna go to the wallet so basically I'm gonna create a new wallet to get to the old wallet click on accounts click on import and like I said let's I'm assuming that you still have the private key or the monomic phrase so at this point you lost your password so what we're gonna do is import an account so I click on accounts hit import and I'm gonna go ahead and use my private key and like I said this assumes you lost your password but you still have your private key import test that's it so what I've done is I've circumvented the password interface by going creating a new wallet by uninstalling the app reinstalling it creating the new wallet and then I use an import to import my private key or my uh, monomic device that's all there is to it thanks for watching the Tron link video tutorial hopefully you'll get your Tron link wallet up and running and you'll have some fun this is crypto slow if you're not talking gains then we're not talking